Good morning, Monique Ruffin here um, for Generation Sex, and I wanted to check in today. I made an intention this week or a couple of weeks ago that I would do something every day toward my goals and my dreams, and my dream is to host my own show, which you can see on my YouTube channel. I have a show titled Generation Sex where we get together and we talk about um, sexual topics that impact each and every one of our lives and one of the things about that that conversation around sexuality for me is also a conversation about relationship and how beautiful they can be and also how very challenging they can be and so I wanted to share today with you a little bit about um, one another video that I made a while ago called baby mama's drama and how it's up to the mother it can be up to the mother to really squash really put an end to the challenges and the struggles that we have going on with the fathers of our children and I happen to be fortunate enough to have a um, ex-husband who is extraordinarily dedicated to the well-being of his child as am I and we work together for the development and the growth and the happiness of our child um, even at the expense of our own happiness, if that is what's necessary. But that's never how it goes, because when your children are happy, you're happy. At least that's what I have discovered. And when my son is happy, it just lights my world up. So um, that is something that I am very, that's, that's a priority for me, my son's happiness and what it means to create that. So my ex-husband and I are divorced, and we... Things come up, things come up that challenge us. Like recently, he started dating a new woman who I absolutely think is an incredible woman. And I started feeling some jealousy about my son's relationship with this woman. And it just shocked me. Like, I was like, oh my God, you know, so he asks for her all the time and he loves her and He's very excited about her and I could I saw a picture of the two of them together and it just I felt that stinging thing in me and I was like, "Oh, where did that come from?" And there was a part of me that was really annoyed about it because I like to think that I'm enlightened and that I'm above all that kind of jealousy and nonsense and ridiculousness around my ex-husband and who he's dating and what's going on with him we're very settled in the fact that we didn't work and we love each other as friends and we are the best parents for the child that we have and so we worked that out and so I was surprised that I was feeling jealousy around my child being connected to this woman especially since I really care about her and trust her as a parent and it had been going on for several days and then I saw another picture of her with my son and I could just feel the fire inside of me like it was like ah and then I wanted to sort of I felt myself wanting to act out from it like I wanted to call my ex and be like what are these pictures and take those down and that's inappropriate and I just sat with it I was like no, Monique, just sit with it and let it burn let it burn see what it offers you I truly believe that everything that challenges me that challenges us in our lives that it is an offering for us to learn more about ourselves and for us to expand expand past our current way of being and thinking into a greater expression of ourselves and for me what I know is that I want community with my child I don't want him to feel like I'm the only person that can love him that he can be safe with I want him to feel like he can go to any woman or person in his environment and he's going to be cared for loved taken care of um, nurtured and he's gonna really feel safe and the reason I feel that way is because I was raised by my grandmother and I grew up in a community in a time when we relied on our neighbors and our aunties and our uncles for the safety of all the children and so I don't think that one I am the one person or that any one person needs to provide everything for somebody and I believe that that is true for my son so I sat with that burning sensation of jealousy I just sat with it it was like ah! And then I just said to myself, oh, you're jealous. And then I questioned myself, well, do you need to do anything about it? No. I realized, like, no, I don't need anything done about it. 
And then I decided that I wanted to let my ex-husband know how I felt about it. So I sent him a text. I was like, wow, I'm jealous. Like, this is hard. And I just, that was it. And I felt so much better after I revealed myself to him. Like, it just creates a level of intimacy to be revealed. And I felt like, oh, okay. And it completely dissolved. And then when I woke up the next morning, he had sent a text back saying, I understand. I would probably feel the very same way. And in that moment, I realized what an incredible person I chose to be married to and have a child with, that he could meet me right where I was in the most loving, tender way. And that after that, we just moved on from it. That was it. We didn't need any more conversation about it. I didn't need any more. He didn't need any more. And we just went to the next agenda point, which is to work together for our son to find the school that he's going to go to for first grade. That is it. And so what I know as a parent and in, and, and, and as a woman and in a relationship and in, with exes and, you know, and my ex's new girlfriends and all that sort of stuff is that I'm always at choice and that I can deal with my feelings and emotions. They are valid but I don't have to act on them. I don't have to do things that will harm my ex, the woman that he's with, and especially my child and myself. I do not have to cause harm because I have an emotion that is difficult to deal with. And so I just wanted to share that today. We are all in this together and we are all always at choice. And we can also always choose love choose love even in the midst of our greatest difficulties we can choose love and responsibility when we are willing so that's it um today here i am monique with generation sex and i hope you have a great day and i love you i do i'm really appreciative thank you bye-bye